what's up guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be talking about some of the common mistakes that new vpn users or vpn news how do you say uh make so firstly guys I, I think one of the most common mistakes i see people making especially when leaving comments on my channel or just when picking a vpn is choosing a vpn based on jurisdiction now people and uh, new users to vpn think oh you know i've done my research i've seen that the five and 14 eyes are bad places to choose a vpn when most of the time these people haven't really done enough research because at the end of the day you shouldn't choose a company based on where it is based um, and there are multiple reasons for this one reason is that a lot of vpn companies are huge companies um, some vpn companies are actually owned by other companies um, not only that but it's entirely possible for a vpn company to make a shell company or a front company in you know kind of a marketable location so that way they can um you know say you know we're not based here we're not based there and then people will want to buy them more that's entirely possible and it's something companies can do i think the best rated vpns are actually based in the 5 and 14 eyes so if you're picking vpns outside of the 5 and 14 eyes you're going to be missing out on the best vpns now what is more important to you a jurisdiction where a company is based or do you want a a VPN that is a good price. Uh, let's say you're paying more money for better jurisdiction location, or would you rather have a jurisdiction uh, within the 5 and 14 eyes and have better pricing, better speeds, better features, and all around better product? I think that is probably what you will value at the end of the day. Because after all, it doesn't really matter where your VPN is based. If you're a criminal or a terrorist, spy agencies are going to be coming after you, and I wouldn't recommend using consumer grade VPN products because at the end of the day, these are companies and they're not gonna risk their entire company for your safety. But if your company that you choose is not logging, um, if they have a good no log policy, if they have a good reputation, you don't really have to worry about them um, collecting data on you or giving data to the NSA or whatever, because NSA quite frankly, doesn't really care about people using VPNs for unblocking geo restrictions, torrenting, just using basic um, consumer technology like this. They don't really care too much about that. They're going after the big boys and chances are the big boys aren't often using consumer grade VPN, they're using custom encryption and stuff like that. So it often becomes a debate between you know privacy and security and nominity. But at the end of the day, if someone's choosing a VPN based on jurisdiction, it, they're just not really thinking about it logically, in my opinion, because spy agencies can and will come after any VPN, no matter where they are based. So just don't really let that be a factor. Another thing is that often VPN noobs will buy long commitment models thinking they got a good deal. So a lot of times they'll buy their first VPN for three years or two years because they're like, oh, it's such a good deal. Now I will never need to buy a VPN again. But what happens after 30 days, they don't like this VPN provider and now they're stuck with it. This is often what happens because a lot of the most popular VPNs are overly marketed on YouTube and they're quite expensive for low commitments, but long commitments, they're actually, you know, cheaper. So this is a common problem. If you're new to VPN, I would recommend buying a one month subscription to a VPN, testing it out, see if it works for you, and then go from there. Another kind of thing related to that is that a lot of VPN customers don't really understand pricing models. If you see a website advertising VPN as low as 667 a month, chances are that means you're gonna be paying $100 up front over the course of a year. So you're not really paying, you know, 667 at, uh, at once. It's more like it's like you're paying $100 and then the, the division of 12 months is 667. So it's a little bit deceptive. A lot of review websites, a lot of VPN company websites themselves advertise VPN pricing this way. And it's always kind of bugged me, but it's something necessarily to watch out for. A lot, another thing is a lot of people mistakenly use VPN applications. Um, that are mobile based only now there are a lot of mobile based vpns on the app store and the google play store and most of them are kind of copy paste clones of each, of each other that are based in china and could be doing something sketchy with your data i would really recommend using a mobile based vpn only uh, because there are much better vpns out there that are pc mac linux um, and mobile at, and even compatible with various streaming sticks and stuff like that so just don't really use a vpn that's just you know uh based only on smartphones because a lot of times they're just not very good another thing guys is don't really listen to affiliate websites or fake reviews um because in my opinion 
Um, I don't want to be talking too much smack about these websites and stuff like that. I'm not meaning to slander or defame these kind of websites. I'm not going to specifically mention any websites here. Um, but most review websites are basing their reviews on commission models. Chances are the website is more concerned with making money and less concerned on making you know objective reviews. Because the best rated VPNs on my tier list are actually lower priced and lower commission VPNs that you're not going to see rated elsewhere highly. So you, if you see a website that's rating TorGuard, AirVPN, Viper VPN, VPN Area, Windscribe, um, VPN City, um, Cactus VPN, VPN at Hot AC, VPN Unlimited, Molvad VPN, if you see any of these VPNs rated highly, chances are it's a pretty honest and reputable review site. However, if you see VPNs rated like CyberGhost, ExpressVPN, uh, IPVanish, uh, NordVPN, Peer VPN, uh, Hide My Ass, Cyber Ghost. These VPNs all have 100% commission rates, so it's it's hard for these uh, people who are mentioning these products to really be honest, in my opinion, because the the incentive to sell these products is just too high. Why would you pick a VPN like AirVPN to sell on your website that only has a 20% commission rate when some of these VPNs that I just mentioned have 100% commission rates? So in terms of uh, the VPN affiliate websites and VPN review websites, most of the time they're run in terms of a corporate kind of business model and that they need to make profit. And so they just sell VPNs that have the highest commission rates. So my, my review channel is a little bit different because I pride myself in honesty and integrity and talking about VPNs that I actually want to use and that are consumer friendly and pro, pro consumer and that they are cheap and affordable and very good. However, most websites just are tr trying to make money and recommend VPNs that have the highest commission rates. Lastly, guys, picking a VPN for the wrong reason is often something that people do. You shouldn't really pick a VPN just because the application looks really good or that, you know, it's been recommended by your favorite YouTuber or that it's on some kind of podcast. Or you shouldn't pick a VPN because, you know, it's super easy to use or something like that. Instead, you should pick a VPN based on a couple things um, like I rate my VPNs in my tier list. You should consider pricing. You should consider how secure and how many features the application has. You should consider things like customer support, the reputation of the company, streaming compatibility. These are all the most important things when considering a VPN. And you could check out all the VPNs pretty much in the world categorized in my tier list at vpntierlist.com as well as the comparison table that is also part of the website. Not only that, but you can also check out encrypted email tier list as well. That is building and building and building on as well as, you know, onto this huge kind of project. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video. And if you're a VPN noob, let me know down in the comments down below if you have any questions about VPN that I didn't answer. And I'll see you again very soon. See you later.